Welcome back to the show, DXB. Today, we are talking about entrepreneurship and what it takes to build a legacy, to maintain, to sustain that with some of the biggest people in the world when it comes to entrepreneurship. And that leads us to our next guest. He is a wonderful entrepreneur starting new standards in the construction and real estate sectors. Through leading initiatives and expert leadership, please welcome to DXB Today, Atin Nirmal G. Padanrami. Hi. Good How to see you? you. Now, Thanks the like Yogi that. Group. Now, instantly people think, oh, we're going to be like yoga and there's going to be all sorts of things like that. But it's not that at all. <laughs> Nothing at all. So tell us a little bit more about that and how you came in and then changed the business and made it what it is today. Uh, so to be very honest, the, there was a platform, uh, but the platform, was, the platform was, was a little, I wouldn't say shaky. It was, uh, it was restricted. So, and there was a lot more which could happen with the business. And my dad started very humble. He, you know, he he started. He was a cleaner. He used to clean uh, motorbikes. You know, when you go and buy a like a car or a bike, there's somebody cleaning the fingerprints. Yeah. So he was a janitor who used to clean uh, Yamaha motorbikes and Al Yusuf motors. And uh, I mean, no formal education. And then he came in, and and then he got into he got into something where he did he did a broker's deal, but he didn't even realize he's a broker. So with that, he scaled it to brokerage and construction, but there was a lot more which could happen. And uh, yeah, and then when I came into the business, been a little more than a couple of decades, I thought there's a lot, there's a lot more which can happen with this. There's, there's a lot more which can happen. And he was a little restricted because uh, he was he was very content that what's happening. He's like, end of the day, I'm gonna come back. My family's there. I'm happy with two slices of bread, and it's easy and it's simple. He was, he was hungry, but he didn't he didn't realize he was hungry. And and then yeah, when when I, when I came on board, I, there was a lot of brainstorming <coughs> which happened. And I'm like, this is where things can go. He's like, all right, okay. You were I mean, hungrier. <laughs> I, I, I'm still very hungry. <laughs> still very hungry. But you wanted to reinvent the business, right? He didn't just pass it on to you. You made some serious changes. How did that decision come about? Uh, to be honest, it wasn't very easy in, in the start. I mean, something as simple as like many, many years back, decades back, even something as simple as putting a website. I told my dad that, you know, I mean, we need, we need to have a website. People don't know what we do. He's like, you're trying to tell me someone's going to switch on a computer, <laughs> open, <laughs> a, open a software. And I mean, for him, who switches on computers like yeah. back then? And he's back like, you're going to tell the people what we do? I'm like, yeah. He's like, but I tell people what we do and this is what's happened. But it's happened all word of mouth. I'm like, yeah, but you need to go, you know, you need to be a little bit more aggressive with the, with the news out there. And uh, he's like, okay, but how is this going to happen? I'm like, he's like, my, our competitors are going to know what we do. I'm like, yeah, but I'll tell you what the competitors are doing as well. So he, he did realize it, but he didn't realize it because he was very he was very happy and simple. He was a very humble, simple man. You know, he was like... He wanted to keep I, his traditions yeah, alive, and, right? You know, and uh, I mean, he's he left he left uh, India when he was just before 18. He came in a ship. He, uh, from a janitor, then starting into brokerage, then scaling. And he was a family man, five kids. So for him, it was like... Okay, I mean, I'm very happy with what's happening. I mean, you know, it was one person, now it's five or 600 people, and we're still very happy. Like, what are we doing? And then I, thought, I was like, these are the things we can do to reinvent it, and came up with a strategy, kept going back on the drawing board a lot of times, and a lot of brainstorming sessions, and a lot of constructive communication, and being a part of the family business. You know, what happens is wisdom is transferred, and it's transferred in a very, uh, in a way that you can foster resilience, you have a continuity, and uh, I think yeah, that's what what how was happening with him. I was never I was never like I'm going to do this alone. I'm I'm, I'm going to inform you what I'm, what's happening, and and reinvention happened alongside him. I mean, he's watching me from up there, but yeah, Aww. reinvention happened alongside. Him. So. It's an incredible story. Um, so you have brothers and sisters. One one elder brother and three elder sisters. Yeah. So how do you guys work out who does what in the business? I mean, do you have special skills that you focus on and your brother does something different? So operationally, my brother and I uh, are the most active. My, I mean, one of my sisters, I mean, my sister, one of my sisters is completely a housewife. She's the husband. The other two sisters are, are a part of the company. But uh, operationally, my brother and I are more active. We, we tend to decide that you are the alpha for this. And this is the alpha. End of the day, every week, every fortnight, we sit down, discuss. In fact, at home, we discuss a lot what's happening with work. So yeah, I mean, we don't we don't cross paths, but it's all it all comes in a common pot. 
and it's very uh, thank god it's very comfortable there is no there's no weird cord anywhere yeah. that's good i mean it could be quite challenging yeah. your it is, your it story is. about the website is interesting i mean <laughs> i remember i just programmed it myself and i said here's the website <laughs> <laughs> yeah. back in the 90s yeah. uh, atinirmal you have quite a diverse business portfolio tell us the different businesses that you are involved in so uh, property management and construction is the core and uh, with property management you get real estate there are real estate services there is uh, i mean off late holiday homes have really picked up because of short term so that that again falls under the real estate bit for me and, and in construction we don't only construct buildings warehouses schools hospitals it's even what happens post construction wherein we have a renovation company because what happens to these buildings eventually right someone's going to renovate them well so that happens and with construction material we manufacture building materials we trade building materials we sell them we rent them so this is all under that umbrella there's a little bit of uh, entry even into power generator units the colorful cow of the group is fashion so just the way there are lots of multi designer stores in any city which represent designers from across the world so we have a we have a multi designer store with the name vesimi where we represent uh, indian and pakistani designers but primarily indian designers i've worn one of your pieces from vesimi many yes. years ago you just reminded me of yes, that yes 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 you have yes you have and uh, so yeah i mean we we it's it's a window for upcoming designers to really established ones as well i mean dubai didn't really have a lot of uh, stores where they where they could go and pick up ethnic fashion mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah that's the that's the only colorful cow but i mean there are a few other things in the pipeline but somewhere it's connected to construction or real estate because you know what you know right and if you don't know you don't know you know i love your story i love that your father was a janitor and how you really started from the bottom up and i i I want to ask about advice because really there's so many aspiring entrepreneurs out there who have limited resources yeah. and feel like that's holding them back. What advice would you have for them? So just the way devils in the detail, it's exactly the same thing and for me for, I think for work because even when I started, it was very easy for me to go and have my own cabin, sit down and straight jump to be a managing director, but I was happy to choose to be on the factory floor. I mean, I was happy to wake up and go to, go to Lajman every day. be there before 6 in the morning and just be at the factory floor to understand this was for a scaffolding factory and when i was studying in warwick it kind of connected because my my dissertation was on a on a scaffolding factory operational system so i'm like i want to start there i want to see i want to see what's happening you know on detail i wanted to like talk to the laborers talk to engineers and f similarly coming back to your question is i would tell someone to start start down there or may, maybe the level depends what they want to get into but try to understand the business and it could take a year it could take 6 years but till that time you're not sure what you're doing i would say not to step ahead and definitely have a mentor mm -hmm. now it could be it could be through podcast it could be through videos it could be through relatives it could be friends it could be somebody else you know who has a business and tell them can i sit down with you if you don't mind and i just feel somebody who's uh, really worked hard is happy to teach as well. So I mean, have do, do you mentor? I mean, do I have a mentor or do yeah, I? Yeah, do you mentor people? Yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 Lane he's and doing I, it I, right I, now. I, Look I, at him on stage. They're both sitting here. Honestly, aren't my they? I think my heart smiles. When I do it, my brain smiles, my heart smiles because I know how how it felt because I've been I've not only been in that shoe, I've walked a mile. So you know how it feels then. Ati Nirmal, thank you so much for that incredible story and amazing work ethic. It's been a pleasure having you on the show, and thank, thank you, you for sharing your story with us. Thank you, Ashwara. Thank you, Dina. Thank you.